All right, Mud and Pop Thrift, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom. That's Evelyn. Say hi, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. And that's Caleb. Say hi, Caleb. Hi. And we are headed to a Goodwill. I haven't been doing a lot of thrifting lately, but I kind of want to just get out of the house and uh, scratch the itch. And we got to go get brothers in an hour and a half. So let's see what we can do in 90 minutes. Say what you want about the masks. Keeps your nose warm when it's cold outside. Uh, no carts. Never any carts. Are those new going out or? No. They're cold. coming off? Okay. Oh, excuse us. You're just getting in people's way. Get heavy. Hey, come on. Ooh, look at these. Some mix yeah, match, what about mismatch. these? Here, Max. You can connect them to look like bucks. a bear. Dad, connect these up and look like a bear. Dad, I can't put it back on. Let's see if there's any. Those are interesting, even if they're not. Fly wire. They are apparently Jordans. I wish now that I had done a little bit more research into these while I was there, but I was holding two babies' hands. So these are Randy the Macho Man Savage. Oh, yeah. But they are Flywire, which tends to be a cheap version of Jordans. Uh, but if you use the right keywords, these can bring 100 bucks, 75 bucks. But without the right keywords, they don't even sell for 30 And that's the comp that I saw. Those are nice looking. I think we're gonna skip them now. That looks like a quality made shoe, but it is a vine. So tiny. Are those a yes or no? Do you want to get them because they're fun? Yeah. But we're not going to get them. Sorry. Okay. Look at this thing. Six bucks. It's not with the electronics. So I suspect somebody brought it out and decided not to buy it. Or it would be back with the electronics. Maybe. Toshiba. Player. It always throws me off because it says DVD. It says recorder here, but that's the VCR part. So let's see what the price is. Five bucks. Even if it don't work at that price. Found in this pile is this very interesting brass like magazine rack. There's something for two fifty. Very mid-century modern. It's weird that there's a gap. Well, this is interesting. There's a bunch of drills and stuff here. And then it appears that the chargers and batteries are over here. So these are identifiable. They're worth as much as the drills most of the time. Chicago electric garbage. Decker's probably, if it weren't rusted to pieces. Hmm. There really does not appear to be much in the way of toys at all. I mean, these two yahoos have found stuff to play with, but there's not much to buy. Hmm. It is obviously appealing to my Nintendo collect yourself. Let's see what it is. Is this a mini air fryer? Like the world's tiniest air fryer? Hi, 
I don't see anything interesting. Look, Dad! Oh. Wow. Wow. And this kind of thing's going to catch my eye just because there's a bunch of them. Oh, but they're just like silicone molds. Which I guess like flexus molds. That makes sense. Eight bucks. No thanks. Well, I don't know how well you could tell. I was really struggling to get footage in there. They never have carts in that store. And because of that, I had to chase Evelyn around. And Caleb was there and he was making it more difficult. And Crimea River, I was at a thrift store with two kids. Most of the time they're fantastic. This time they were a little more of a handful than I'm used to. Anyway, I didn't get a lot of footage. I love my kids, but I'll show you what I got. We're sitting here waiting for the brothers to get out of school. And so I've just got these over the da over the steering wheel. Uh, size large fan fanatics, uh, Jimmy Butler jersey, $3.99. This is Carhartt pocket tee. I always do really well on these. This one's extra large um just a regular pocket tee $3.99 Avett Brothers tour t-shirt 2018 $2.48 this bleach bleach is a video game this was probably not the best buy in the world there are comps between 15 and 25 dollars but there's also a sold comp at seven bucks this one's large it was two dollars and 48 cents Polo. This may be not the best buy either. Uh, it's Ralph Lauren Polo. It's a like sweater vest, but it's not uh, a size large. It's not made in the U.S., so it's probably not vintage. But I really like this. I felt like it was an unusual piece. Two dollars and forty-eight cents. This is uh, the North Face 2XL, just like a fishing vintage shirt. Two dollars and forty-eight cents. This is a one that I've never actually found before, Mountain Hardware. Um, it's XL. I don't know what it's worth, but everybody says everybody that finds it says it's good. Two dollars and forty-eight cents. Green? No, orange was half price. And then this is a Columbia PFG XL baby blue. Two dollars and forty-eight cents. Children's paperbacks are 50 cents a piece, and I got a whole bunch of them. The Magic of Oz. This is probably a $10 book. Sweet Valley Twins, episode issue one. I don't know if that makes that special. Issue seven, or this is kids, seven and five. That Sweet Valley, I've done really well with. I'll put my own comp up here, but these can be worth eight or ten dollars a piece, even in lots. This three investigators I've been finding recently and do really well. The mystery of three of the vanishing treasures, uh, the kidnapped whale. Now this one's taped, covers taped on. This wandering caveman I just sold all by itself for twelve bucks. Um, Sweet Valley Twins, more Sweet Valley Kids, and then Babysitters Club six, twenty seven, one eleven. 103, 110, 69, 12, and 112. This is the Air Max. And look, like, they're the same shoe, but, like, the tongues don't match each other. And they're, Evelyn's hands are sticky. They're, anyway, they're crazy looking. The lowest sold comps on these are more than 50 bucks and so i didn't have a problem paying 15 which is really high for that goodwill shoe price and then these doc martens they are the important part is here that they are made in england they're size 12 probably about 40 dollars shoe i think they were six bucks we only bought an old laundry basket and i think this will probably sell if we decide to sell it and then there's that toshiba so this thing is a little bit of a mess on the inside. I couldn't figure out how to get it open in the store. It is this model number. See if we can find some comps for it. I paid seven bucks. And here's the model number on the VCR. So see if we can find some comps on that. 
So just so you guys know where I'm at, my goal, 15, 15, 15, 19, 32, eight and 11, yuck. But my goal for the week was 115, or my, my total for the week was 115, 105 is my goal. So I did hit my items listed goal, but my uh, goal of 735 a day, which would put me at about $33 per item, then uh, I didn't come close to that. So uh, these are my total numbers listed for the day. 325, 311, 294, 523, 950. 291 and 271, which only comes out to uh, just under three grand, which is only about 58% of my goal. So I either need to list more items or list higher value items, which I think is the game plan because then you have do less shipping that way. Um, but that's where I'm at for the first week. And then I've started on Sunday and today is Monday. And I haven't posted a video yet. Hopefully that'll be this video. And then I have, uh, uh, I only have two listed. One of them sold already. And then uh, for a total of 50 bucks. So I'm going to have to, still working on Tuesday morning and this is where we're at. You guys saw I had that trajectory going like this here. Well, I did get another good day and a couple of slow days. Like this is Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So Monday looks short, but I'm only I'm at $300 now today. I have one pending sale for over a hundred bucks, which would put me at like a hundred and twenty-five. But uh, I got to get some more sales today. But again, it's only nine thirty in the morning, so we'll see what happens with today. Uh, but I am trending towards higher. Like these, these lowest ones are a hundred and thirty-five dollars. So if I can keep this alive, where it's trending more towards five hundred dollars a day than a hundred dollars a day. I'll be in really good shape. But let's look at what's sold. So I picked up this Sparkle Kitty game. I tend to have a look at anything that is new sealed games. Uh, I think I paid I paid $278 for this and it sold for $11.99. Not a great pickup. Um, I listed the uh, this Smash Brothers for $19. It sold within a couple hours. I listed this Wii Sports Resort. The pack-in, the small package, not the standard DVD size package, is worth more money because it packs in with the uh, Wii and then you have the complete inbox Wii. So it's a little harder to get. And for people who are trying to do a complete inbox console, it's worth more to them to have the right version. So that cardboard pack-in is worth more money. Uh, and it is, I've listed mine for 30 and it sold pretty much immediately two hours I think um, this book one of the occult books that I found this one's called Diary of a Witch and it's by Sybil Leak who is a author and a popular author in that field um, she this one was moldy and I'll put my description up here um, when I found it. it but it comps at like 80 bucks and so I put it in I put it in a Ziploc bag. I threw a handful of baking soda in it. I shook it around. I threw it in the deep freezer for like two weeks. And I pulled it out and I dusted it off and it doesn't smell like mold. The mold is dead. So uh, I listed it, but it's beyond repair essentially at this point. It, it's never gonna get any better than it is and it's kind of ugly, but it's a rare book. So I thought someone would probably want it. I listed it for $14.99 and it sold in 48 hours. Um, these New Balance that I picked up for $6.99 the other day at Goodwill sold for $36.99, probably listed almost a week. Those Double H that I showed you the other day did end up selling for $54. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yo Quiero Taco Bell sold for $19.90 plus shipping. This Nike puffer jacket that I've had for way too long. It sat in the death pile and I kept thinking, man, I got to go get that. I got to get it listed. I saw it listed it for 65 plus shipping and it sold right away. Uh, sold within 48 hours. I've been selling a lot of these. I found these. Uh, I sold three lots this week. Uh, the 
1983 Superman 3 cups. And I wonder if maybe they announced the new Superman movie coming out or something. But, because uh, that kind of thing happens when you have something listed. And, like, if you had Full House listed this week, Bob Saget passed away, and his, the Bob Saget-related things are going to list, or going to sell. If you have, if Superman's in the news and you have old Superman cups, they're going to sell. So I suspect somebody announced something about Superman, because I sold... I've had these forever. I bought like 20 of them at a, an estate sale for like five bucks. And I listed them in lots of four. And the they're finally selling $20 a pop. And I sold three of them this week. This Packers jacket, I picked up for 15 bucks. I did not realize that like when you stick your hand in the pocket on the side, the pocket is detached on one side. So you can maneuver around and get to the inside of the coat i listed it with that flaw and it sold for 35 plus shipping and i messaged the buyer and said hey you saw that it's flawed and he said yes and i intend to repair it thank you for letting me know and we're good uh these camo columbia wool pants these i think were 65 percent recycled wool and they sold for $65 the pending sale we were talking about just a minute ago that somebody paid $110 but they haven't paid yet for a the matching jacket to that now I say matching it's from the same series but the browns are so different that I wasn't comfortable listening listing them together the the pants are like like mocha is the lightest color and this um uh, jacket has some really light like ivory whites uh, in the lightest colors so I felt like they didn't really match and I didn't want to list them together in case somebody got them because together they would have sold for $275 and I got essentially that out of listing them separately but they sold quick so if you're fine and the the jacket is 90% wool and so it uh, it's kind of a big deal. And I had it listed for 150. I sent out a 130 dollar offer, and we went back and forth quite a bit, and got back. It got to 110. Um, I would just as soon get them gone. Um, even stuff that's worth something, I just want to get it listed and sold as quick as possible. And if I'm making money, especially on something where I paid like eight bucks for that, and I'm making money, even if I'm not at the top of the market. My goal is not to make the most money on every item. My money, my goal is to make enough money to make it well worth my time and move product. Um, these Star Wars four potato heads sold for seventy dollars, free shipping. Cost me a lot more to ship these than I thought. They're just kind of an awkward size, so it cost me almost twenty five dollars to ship them um, because. They were going to a P.O. box, so I couldn't use UPS. Uh, it would have been like $17 with UPS. Man, I think that's all that's fun and good and interesting that I sold. Everything else is just kind of bread and butter stuff. A sealed Disney sing-along VHS tape, Mickey Mouse, uh, little cake topper figurines. A lot of Disney-themed stuff. There was a Fantasia record. Uh, these... Uh, starburst handled um like a, a ladle and a potato masher uh and this nike jacket that i picked up for five bucks at that thrift store the other day it is not super white the white wasn't super good on it, it sold for 23.75 all right so i think that's gonna do it for us say abby can you say like comment and subscribe okay say love you I love you. Mwah. Mm. Bye. Bye.